Top 20 Places to Visit in London 1. Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament This British cultural icon was completed in 1859, and it lays at the north end of the Palace of Westminster, which is the seat of the Parliament of the United Kingdom. This monument is one of the symbols of the British capital, and a must-see for tourists. The 96-meter-high clock tower was built between 1843 and 1859, and renamed Elizabeth Tower in 2012 in honor of Queen Elizabeth Yee, who celebrated her Diamond Jubilee. It is a must-see tourist spot for history lovers. 2. The London Eye The London Eye is a 135-meter-high Ferris wheel located on the banks of the Thames. It was inaugurated to celebrate the year 2000, which also earned it the nickname Millennium Wheel. If you want to see London from a different perspective, take a seat in one of the attraction's gondolas. With the District of Westminster and Big Ben nearby, the London Eye offers an exceptional panorama of the London capital. And to benefit from an illuminated landscape, the wheel is illuminated at night. 3. Street Paul's Cathedral For more than 1,400 years, a cathedral dedicated to Paul has stood on Ludgate Hill, the highest point in London. Street Paul's Cathedral serves as the Anglican Episcopal See in London, and thus has figured prominently in many major cultural and religious events, from the funerals of Lord Nelson and Winston Churchill to the marriage of Prince Charles and Diana Spencer. 4. Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace is a home to British royal family, a significant symbol of the UK. It is a must-see when visiting London. Countless tourists flock to the palace daily for a chance to spot a member of the royal family and to witness the changing of the guard at 11.30 a.m. daily from April to July and every other day on rest of the year. 5. British Museum British Museum in London is one of the world's largest and most important public museums of human history and culture. It has more than 7 million objects from all continents. They illustrate and document the story of human culture from its beginning to the present. You should try to see Rosetta Stone, Portland Vase, and Cat Mummies if you've got a day or just a few hours to visit it. 6. Trafalgar Square Trafalgar Square is named after Britain's victory in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Although Britain won, war hero Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson was killed during the battle on his ship. It is a center of national democracy and protest. Rallies and demonstrations are frequently held at weekends on different political, religious and general issues. The mayor supports this democratic tradition and gives access to the square for such causes. 7. Covent Garden, located in the West End of London. Covent Garden is renowned for its luxury fashion and beauty stores, cafe, award-winning restaurants and theaters. It is associated with the former fruit and vegetable market in the Central Square, now a popular shopping and tourist site, and with the Royal Opera House, itself known as Covent Garden. 8. Natural History Museum The Natural History Museum in London is a public museum that exhibits a vast range of specimens from various segments of natural history. It is one of three major museums on Exhibition Road in South Kensington, the others being the Science Museum and the Victoria and Albert Museum. You should try to see the Royal Lion Skull, a moon rock, a famous gorilla, Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species book, and John James Audubon's The Birds of America book if you've got a day or just a few hours to visit it. 9. Hyde Park It is the largest public park in London. Covering an area of 350 acres, Hyde Park is one of the nine royal parks in the city. Take a breath of fresh air by walking or cycling the paths of the park and enjoy a romantic boat ride on the Serpentine. You will meet swans, ducks and squirrels. And there you can find a speaker's corner or speaker's corner, a place where everyone is free to speak in front of the audience. 10. Royal Albert Hall The Royal Albert Hall is a concert hall on the northern edge of South Kensington, London. One of the United Kingdom's most treasured and distinctive buildings, it is held in trust for the nation and managed by a registered charity which receives no government funding. 11. Tower Bridge Built between 1886 and 1894, Tower Bridge was designed by Horace Jones and engineered by John Wolfberry. It is a 65-meter high and 250-meter long bridge crossing the Thames. 
Its architecture is special since this bridge consists of two large towers connected by two high pedestrian paths and by a platform that opens to let boats pass. If you want a good angle to take a picture of it, stand by the Thames, both during the day and at night when it's lit up. 12. Tower of London Located on the north bank of the River Thames in central London, William the Conqueror built the White Tower in 1066 as a demonstration of Norman power to act as both fortress and gateway to the capital. It is the most complete example of an 11th century fortress palace remaining in Europe. It has been the setting for key historical events in European history, including the execution of three English queens. 13. The Shard Built between 2009 to 2012, the Shard is a 72-story skyscraper located near the center of London. Its exact address is 32 London Bridge Street. The Shard was designed by Italian architect Renzo Piano. This skyscraper was designed to be a mixed-use building, which means there are plenty of things to do inside. 14. Borough Market Located next to London Bridge Station, Borough Market is a wholesale and retail market hall in Southwark, London, England. It is one of the largest and oldest food markets in London, with a market on the site dating back to at least the 12th century. The present buildings were built in the 1850s, and today the market mainly sells specialty foods to the general public. 15. Gherkin Located in the Financial District of London, the Gherkin is London's most instantly recognizable spiral design tower. Designed by legendary British architect Sir Norman Foster, the building is 590.5 foot, 180 meter, tall, and was opened in 2004. The iconic building is a flourishing community and deserves its reputation for being the most civilized skyscraper in the world. 16. Shakespeare's Globe Theatre Shakespeare's Globe is a reconstruction of the Globe Theatre, an Elizabethan playhouse for which William Shakespeare wrote his plays, in the London borough of Southwark, on the south bank of the River Thames. 17. Tate Modern Located on Millbank in the city of Westminster, Tate Modern is the jewel in the crown of modern art galleries in London. It holds the nation's collection of modern art from 1900 to the present day. With 5.7 million visitors, it is in the top 10 most visited public museums and galleries in the world. The collection holds masterpieces of international and British modern art. 18. Harrods. Located near Hyde Park, Harrods is one of the largest and most famous department stores in Europe. The Harrods motto is Omnia Omnibus Ubique, which is Latin for all things for all people, everywhere. Several of its departments, including the seasonal Christmas department and the food halls, are well known. 19. Science Museum. Located on Exhibition Road in South Kensington, the Science Museum is a home of human ingenuity and great history of inventions, which are fantastically displayed interactively. Filled with award-winning exhibitions, iconic objects and stories of incredible scientific achievement, the museum is free to public. 20. Piccadilly Circus Piccadilly Circus is a very touristic place, also popular with locals. This road junction has a square where is located a fountain with an angel of Christian charity. And above all, the originality of this place is the set of illuminated advertising signs that recall the famous Times Square in New York. The neighborhood is dynamic. It is home to Oxford Street, a long adjoining street known for its many shops. The Shopping Paradise. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.